Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on basic moving assembly. Um, when we completed assembly, we should have this part, the link should be easily moving, as you guys can see. Okay, let's begin. First, you guys need to click the link that is provided on the description part of this video. When you click the link, you will go to this uh, page if you log in your account. And then the first thing, we are going to click and make a copy. And then I'm going to just delete and basic, let's say, moving assembly. And okay. All right, now we can begin. So we have the all the parts in our account and we have the assembly uh, document here so I'm, I'm gonna start to click insert in the part insert we're gonna first insert the base I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna just left click and green check mark first I'm gonna change the part orientation to be able to do that I'm gonna left click and the thread manipulator I'm gonna use here and then I'm gonna just rotate it 180 degrees friction and then left click here left click again and then I'm gonna just move them on this direction 90 degree and okay now it is completed now I'm gonna move the base around and I'm gonna click the left button Perfect. Now I want the center of this hole uh, to the center of this hole to move to origin here. So to be able to do that, left click, and then I'm going to move the thread manipulator. I want them to thread manipulator to go to center. Now it is on the center. Now I'm going to just right click and move to origin. Now it is on the origin. Then the click isometric view. Perfect. Left click. On the graphic area now it is completed but i want them to fix so i don't want them to move anymore right click and the fix now it is fixed now we can get the other components insert it's going to be arm link cylinder and the lastly pin and then i'm going to just move around left click green check mark now we can move each part so we can see them clearly so I'm gonna work first um, this pin I want them to move inside the this cylinder to be able to do that first I'm gonna use mate connector if you don't see this mate connector here you can just uh, type it main connector on the search tools and you can activate that tool left click main connector I'm going to change the on entity to between entities and then just move the so I'm going to choose the bottom part of the cylinder first and the top part of the cylinder now I want the Z axis that blue axis uh, or uh, Parallel to these holes, to be able to do that, I'm going to click the realign, and then I'm going to choose, okay, these holes, that's the first one, and that's the second one. As you can see now, it is parallel to these holes, and I'm going to click the green check mark. Now, I have the mate connector here, so I'm going to use revolate mate, and I'm going to choose the middle of the this pin. And I'm going to choose the mate connector. I just made it. And I can animate the motion. It looks good. So I can click green check mark. So the first part is completed. But I don't want to see the mate connector here. So I'm going to just hide it. Now isometric view. This time I'm going to get this cylinder inside the space. To be able to do that I'm going to use this time slider mate because i want this uh, cylinder to move inside the space so i'm going to just choose the bottom 
of the cylinder and I'm gonna choose bottom of to this uh, circle here and just animate the motion looks good for me I'm gonna click the solve so pin goes to spot and the green check mark okay next click the isometric view again now we are gonna get the, this arm inside the, this hole to be able to do that I'm gonna use again revolute mate I'm gonna choose the middle of the arm zoom and I'm going to choose the middle of this hole here and then I'm gonna offset negative 17.5 millimeter um, the my work area is millimeter you're supposed to be millimeter again but if it is not I'm gonna click the green check mark if it doesn't look correct so you can just go to uh, document menu and you can go to workspace units and you can check it if it is millimeter or not okay last but not least we are gonna connect the link arm and the cylinder together to be able to do that I'm gonna use again revolate mate click the revolate mate and then I'm gonna use the middle of the, this circle here perfect now just zoom around zoom in zoom zoom so I'm gonna choose here the middle perfect it is on the middle you can see them clearly also F click and let's animate the motion looks perfect green check mark and see the isometric view perfect so the revolate tool again activated by itself so I'm gonna use this time this circle go to uh, attach the pin so first just exit out and make this base transparent make the cylinder transparent so we can work easily or you can hide them both of them are fine I'm gonna click revolute mate and I'm gonna choose the middle again and then I'm gonna choose the middle of the pin and just animate the motion perfect it's not gonna move this way but it's perfectly fits and green check mark exit out from the transparent click the isometric view it seems it is good it is completed let's see the motion as you can see it moves as it expected um that's the first way to check the second way we we are going to check uh we want this part um the link parallel to this side of the arm so this is the second part we are going to check if it moves that's the first check for us the second one we are going to use parallel mate and then i'm going to choose this side of the link and then this side of the arm just so perfect so i want them to parallel to each other just click the solve so as you can see guys now these two lines are parallel to each other i'm gonna click the green check mark since i just uh, constrained them it's not gonna move anymore because i picked them to parallel to each other the reason i did so i'm gonna check if it is correct or not so i'm gonna click the display mass properties when you click the link and if you see the z axis is zero millimeter it means center center of mass of the z is zero millimeter it means it is correct okay i'm gonna exit out and i'm gonna delete the parallel mate here because i don't want them to be here so i can move my assembly all right have a good day guys